Welcome to the Gospel Reformation Network. We're here in Chattanooga, Tennessee for the General Assembly of the Presbyterian Church in America. And I'm going to have a GRN conversation with Jason Halopoulos, who is from East Lansing, Michigan. Welcome, Jason. How well, are you? Thank you. Good to be here, Rick. Now, your church, uh, University Reformed Church in yeah. East Lansing, recently changed its affiliation from the Reformed Church in America to the Presbyterian Church in America, although you've been a member in the PCA. Can you just tell us what the big deal is about that for you all? This is a really exciting time for URC. We have, for years, the elders have looked at whether uh, we should continue in the RCA or whether we should affiliate with another denomination. Went through a thorough process of that and um, because there are wanderings in the RCA on a number of issues and things that concern the church and the elders at URC. And uh, just in this last uh, six months, we've received approval to leave the RCA and affiliate with the PCA. And for me, it's bringing my two worlds together, yeah. so I absolutely love it. Well, our church prayed for you all during that process and kept close track of it. Now, you talk about that. some of the changing issues in society. I think everybody knows what's going on. Yes. Uh, you're on a campus. You're a college church in a certain respect. Why is it important that we be faithful to the scriptures on hot-button issues that are likely to bring conflict with the culture? Yeah. I mean, this, this is serious for all of our churches. I don't think it's just college yeah. churches, churches, though I think in many ways the college church is on the front lines because you have, uh, we have, you know, at URC, uh, we probably have 150 college students that come on a Sunday between undergraduates and graduates, and, and they are hearing these things in the classroom. So they are hearing things on homosexuality and that gender is a social construct and uh, things such as this, that the, the scriptures are not authoritative and inerrant, that there was no literal Adam and Eve, uh, these kind of things that they're hearing in their classes, their religion classes, but more than that. Now, why we want to be gospel-centered churches. Why shouldn't we just tell people like this, look, Jesus loves you, uh, Jesus has paid the price for your sin, and God accepts you as you are, and let, just let them live who they are in the grace of Christ. Why is it important what they believe about creation, their sexual orientation, these sorts of things? Uh, doesn't the gospel, or why doesn't the gospel, just give them freedom to be who they are? Yeah. We want to be a people of love, no doubt, right? Uh, they will know us by our love for one another, uh, but they will also know us by our love for truth. And I think as we seek to love other people, we are only truly loving them as we're standing upon the truth of what the scriptures say. And that is true love. As we're reaching out to people in our culture, as we're ministering to people in our own churches, uh, the only way to truly love them is to love them according to what the scriptures teach. And so we want to stand firm on them. So to be saved is to know Jesus and to love him. And he says, if you love me, yeah, you, you will, will obey, obey my, my commandments. commandments. Yeah. Well, thank you. This is a GRN Conversation with Jason Halopoulos.